and welcome to my channel distinctive crochet my name is priscilla and i'd like to thank all my new subscribers for coming to check me out and all my returning subscribers for spending some time with me and if this is your first time here today please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you can be notified when i upload a new video previously on distinctive crochet i was showing you all my tunisian blankets that i had made but um, this is going to finish up the video for part two and this is going to be more focused on garments. So here is the last uh, blanket that I showed you all in that video. And I will link it down below in case you missed it. All right, here we go. All right, so the next project I wanted to show you guys is a, um, a bag. I just wanted to make like a bag maybe to store my yarn in or something. And, um, oh, excuse me, I had wanted to do it in Tunisian, but... It was taking a long time, so I just made the bottom in Tunisian, and then I just did the um, the sides, and I think these are double crochets. So here's the bottom of the bag, and then that was in Tunisian, and then I just had the um, double crochets. Now, this bag is not even finished yet. I still have my Tunisian hook in it. <laughs> Guys, I have put the handle on, and it is not centered. So I just put this down and put it to the side because I was already, I think I had made, I'm not sure if I made one side or not in Tunisian, but I think I took it apart and started and just redid it in double crochets. So I'm like, this is going to take too long. And I didn't, I was just wanted the bag. I just like, I just want this done. And so anyway, I never finished the uh, putting the other handle on. It's like the one side is put on, but the other the other side needs to be put on. And I didn't because once I put it on, I was like, it's not centered. <laughs> so it's kind of lopsided. So I just decided to put it to the side. And I don't, I don't even know when that's going to get finished. <laughs> that's what I was talking about. I don't even know, like, all the whips that I have. Like, I can't even tell. <laughs> but anyway, that was the bag. And, um... The next thing I want to show you, well, y'all already seen that sweater that I made for my husband that didn't turn out so well. <laughs> that was another Tunisian project. So I just put in um, a picture or video of me showing that sweater. I can't remember the name of that stitch that I used for that. Um, but it was a Tunisian, Tunisian stitch. stitch. Now, I can't remember what this stitch is called. If I find out, I'll put it up on the screen. So this is... Let's see. This is the sweater, and it had like a square neck. And <laughs> go ahead and laugh. So um, that was that one. And then the next thing I made was a a hooded uh, jacket for my son or sweater. Now I made this out of cotton, so it's really really heavy. Um. But I just like the color of the cotton. So, and I think I had got this from when Craftsy was originally Craftsy. <laughs> I had ordered some cotton from them. And I think it was on sale or something. But, um, yes, I just really like the color of it. So, let me see. It's an, I don't know if it'll turn up the way it's supposed to be on camera for you guys. Because... I noticed one time I was doing a video and I said it's not that color. But then when I ran the video back, it was that color. So I don't know. But this is kind of like a, like a, not a teal blue, but I don't know how to describe this. But um, anyway, it's a very pretty color. And I can't even remember that. I think it was like called Snow Cone or something. And I think it was by, is it Burnett or... I think it might be brunette. I'm not sure. And my seams is not the best, but I didn't follow a pattern or anything. I just made this up on my own. And this was in my earlier years of like doing garments and stuff. So I think I made, I do think I made these before I made my husband's sweater though. But um, this was a stitch that I, that I knew how to do that I had a handle on. The other stitch, I had no idea what I was doing with that one. But this is the Tunisian knit stitch. And, yeah, you can see, like, all the bumps on the inside for the, that's, like, how you, what you get when you do Tunisian. So, um, and then I had to put a zipper on the side because 
just to make it easier to go over his head. And then I put a hood on it. So um, it's all in Tunisian knit stitch. So it's not the best quality, but it was okay at the time. <laughs> he loved it <laughs> and he wore it. So that was good. So that's what I made. That was for my youngest son. Now my oldest son, he um like he was getting into like the little emojis and things like that. So I wanted to make him a vest that had like an emoji on the back. And uh oh, this is caught on some more. So I had um found a chart online. Well, not a chart. I found a picture. And then I printed the picture out on this graph paper here. I'm not for sure if this is exactly the one I used because I, I noticed I had a few of them printed out. But um, if you can tell, it's like not lined up on the sheet of graph paper. So I was having a hard time actually... Even though this was like graphed out, I was having a hard time actually um, following the graph and putting the right stitches where they were supposed to go. So um, I did end up making um, that picture. And it, I don't know, on camera it looks really good. Like when I saw that picture, I was like, <gasps> so on camera it looks really good, but like in real life, it's like not exactly rounded and um, I tried to use like a darker color on the outside of the circle and then a lighter color on the inside just trying to give it a little um, dimension I guess you would say and um, like in real life I wasn't really pleased with it but like in pictures it does look pretty good <laughs> but anyway I'm gonna show you a picture of that So that's the picture of that. But guess what, guys? Don't be mad at me. <laughs> so this is all I have left. I took it apart. So um, that's all I have left. And this is supposed to say genius on there. So, and it had like a little bow tie at the bottom. Ah, I, start, I, I don't know why. I just took it apart because I didn't like it. But I should have just kept it anyway because that was a lot of work um, doing it. But I was like, now nah, I'm going to just take this apart. And I never redid it. So I never um, did the graph because I couldn't, I, I was worried about I wouldn't get the circle exactly right. So I did end up making him a vest anyway, but it's just plain. So this is the vest that I made for him. And this is also in a knit, Tunisian knit stitch. And then I have some front post, back post along the zipper. And then he has like this oversized hood. Sorry about the inside of that. <laughs> he has the, this oversized hood. Got a land on it. Um, I think I you went up a hook size on that, on the hood, because I didn't want it. The um, this one was so thick and heavy. I just wanted it more drapey, so. I went up a hook size, but it turned out to be real drapey. But, um, oops, what am I showing you guys? The side of it. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Okay, so that's the vest in the front, and then, um, you know, the hood just drapes down in the back. But I just left the back plain. But I was, my original plan was to have that, like, emoji at the back. So that is all my uh <laughs> that is all my Tunisian projects that I have to share. I did I did make a hat um in Tunisian, but I gave I believe I donated that hat um a couple years back because I it was it was okay. It's just that I didn't really like exactly how I fit. Um it was just I think I knit I not knit, but I think I did the Tunisian flat and then seamed it up somehow. And um it had like ear flaps and it was like kind of like the aviator style where the button, you know, had like the two buttons on the front. So it was really cute, but um 
nobody ever really wore it. So it was it was kind of a little too big for my boys, and then it just I just didn't like how it fit on me. So I ended up donating that hat. But that was like I was doing like Tunisian, 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 <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute, I wanted to make something else, and I'm like, how do you do a half double? How do you do a double? <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny but um yes i had but now it's like the opposite i haven't done tunisian in quite a while um i think that black and white blanket was like the last thing i did and i think i did that in 2017 i think yep so that was like i believe the last tunisian project that i had worked on so it's been quite a while but um Yes, I do. I do probably want to um, do some more Tunisian, but I don't know. I'm back on the regular stitches right now, <laughs> so we'll see. But anyway, thanks again for coming by to uh, check out my Tunisian crochet projects. Let me know what you guys think. And of course, uh, please forgive me about the seaming and things like that, because that was in my earlier garment construction day. <laughs> <laughs> and uh that was like all my own i didn't follow a pattern i just did you know made it up however i took their measurements made it up and seamed it up how i thought it should go so that's what i did <laughs> but um let me know what you guys think and um you know are you working on Tunisian projects or is that something that you would like to try out uh, you know leave all those comments down below but I really appreciate you all sticking to the end with me, giving those thumbs up, and um, subscribing if you haven't. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next one.